Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another video review. This time I'm going to be looking at Vince Camuto Terra. Now this was released in early 2017. The notes in it that I found are fresh citrus for the top, then the heart has geranium, sandalwood, and the base has earthy woods, green rhubarb, tonka, and vanilla. Now, I will say, I tend to like Vince Camuto fragrances, or I should say I tend to give them a little bit of a benefit of the doubt because they don't normally fall into the typical designer molecule type sense. But this time, it's a little bit different. Out of the bottle, it was interesting. Wasn't anything groundbreaking. I could definitely smell the uh, red earth. I was getting that feeling off of it, although that could have just been from the bottle itself, the color and that, but I was getting a feel of an earthy quality. But after that, nothing really wowed me. I wore this a few times and did not receive any good compliments at all. In fact, one person that I had smell it on me, they didn't like it at all. All the while I was wearing it, it kept reminding me of something, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it until just recently. And it reminds me just a little bit of Versace Eros. Now it doesn't have the mint of Eros, but it does have an inherent sweet quality. So whereas Eros goes way towards the sweet and the minty for me, this one has the sweetness and that still same designer base to it, but it does have a little bit of difference in that earthy quality. So maybe if you found Versace Eros a little bit too sugary sweet and minty for you, but it was almost there, give this one a try because it's a little bit up that alley. Now I know of two sizes that this comes in. The 1.7 ounce 50 milliliter is $60 and the 3.4 ounce 100 milliliter is $77. I will say when you look at this in the store, make sure you're getting the correct bottle because this bottle is just a few shades oranger or darker than a previous Vince Camuto release called Solare. Performance on this one for me never got above average for any category. Longevity was average. Um, it was decent. It wasn't wasn't poor or anything like that. However, projection was a little bit less than I was hoping for. I was hoping for something nice with this fragrance because last year Vince Camuto came out with what is my favorite fragrance of theirs, Eterno. That is a great fragrance on me. Great compliment getter for the first four hours or so. Then it kind of dies down to a, a skin scent. But that was a great fragrance. This one, not so much for me. Not much more to say about this one, so this review is going to be a little bit short. On a 10-point scale, I'm going to have to give this one about a six and a half. Not a bad fragrance at all. Nothing to be upset about with this one, but if you are into more unique fragrances, I'd say smell this one and you'll probably pass on it. But if you're just getting into the fragrance game, do check this one out because even though it's not quite what my nose was looking for, it is a little bit different from the other fragrances that are out there. The typical Sauvage, Aqua de Joe, Mont Blanc Legend, those things like that. The earthiness quality does give it at least something to seek out and sniff. All right, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can, and I'll talk to you soon.